As you take a look inside, you are surprised by the scene, the terrors of which no eye has ever seen. For those who disbelieve, they will be the gasoline for a fire whose fuel is stones and human meat. You can hear the fire's whip, the crackling and hungry hiss of this pitch black beast filled to the brim with darkness. And where are their gods, those whom they chose to worship? They gave partners to Allah, now they are alone in torment. You can see them in their crowds as their sizes increase. Bodies dragged upon their faces, chains wrapped around their feet. The roasting of their skin and the boiling pus they will eat. From fruits like devil's heads, molten brass is their treat. And they will never sleep. Not even death will be seen For those who rejected faith Their home is El Jahim A never ending heat Over it are 19 Angels who never dare Disobey their Lord's decree And even though they will scream Their pain it just won't decrease For they took arrogance Oppression and war as their Dean so now they'll face the Penalty and be destroyed in Degrees the lowest boiling Of their brains for their souls were deceived and this fire never ties from the moment it was lit it's been awaiting patiently for the criminals it will admit as the tenants of this menace cry out from inside of it and the fire is crying out asking Allah for more of them they were warned again and again but still were led astray by the accursed outcast whom they heard and obeyed then who better than a bleach to introduce them to their fate to their dismay on that day he will stand forth and say Allah promised you truth and I promised you too but I had no authority so I betrayed you all I did was call you but you're the ones who came through you responded to me so don't blame me blame you today I cannot help you just like you cannot help me and I deny your former acts of associating me as a partner with the law by obeying me verily there lies a painful torment for all volumes wa qala ash-shaytan lamma qudiya al-amr inna allah wa'adakum wa'ada al-haqq wa wa'adtukum fa akhlaftukum wa ma kana li alaykum And Satan will say when the matter has been decided, Indeed, Allah promised you a promise of truth, and I too promised you, but I betrayed you. I had no authority over you, except that I called you, and you responded to me. So do not blame me, but blame yourselves. I cannot help you, nor can you help me. I deny your former act in associating me as a partner with Allah by obeying me in the life of the world. Indeed, there is a painful torment for the polytheists and wrongdoers. Subhanallah, imagine on that day, Iblis, the devil himself, will stand forth and give a khutbah, and he will address all of the people whom he helped to lead astray. He promised us money, fame, fortune, and happiness, but he lied, and he's a liar, and he lies to us every single day. But on that day, not even he will be free from the wrath of Allah Azza wa Jal. Brothers and sisters, I want you to see the hellfire with your own eyes as if you were standing above it. The Prophet ﷺ said that if a rock dropped into Jahannam, it will remain plummeting for 70 years before touching the bottom. But for you, I want you to imagine that you have walked across the Sarat safely.
And now you are on the other side of this bridge, and it's now time to purify yourself by settling any wrongdoings amongst the fellow believers. And once that's over, despite all the barriers and obstacles placed in your way, despite the terror and horror you have endured throughout this entire adventure, you now find yourself standing in front of the gates of Al-Jannah.